Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. Going to have a look at the ECM Defect Steady Model for today's second video. So looking at mean cell pressure, 500 millibar, height, temperature, and precipitation, anomalies for the next 42 days slash six weeks. Uh, focusing on the UK and Ireland, the wider European outlook with this model. Uh, we do that on, on a Tuesday, so uh, we focus primarily uh, on a Friday or Saturday on uh, on England and Wales, and that's what we're going to do uh, for this one. So uh, please like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. It's going to take us well into uh, towards the end of February. Uh, so I'll get all that for you in a sec. Just say it first. Video is here was our 6 a.m. upload. We've got weekend podcasts coming up for you, as well as the 10 to 14 there. So please like, share, subscribe on videos. And thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Right, okay, so we're going to start off with the uh, week one mean sea level pressure anomaly. It's going to take us from the 17th through the 24th of January. Uh, so next week, basically. High pressure is going to be dominating weather across much of uh, northern and western Europe. This large ridge of high pressure control of weather, low pressure across northern and uh, northeastern parts of Europe. The 500 millibar height only shows up very nicely with above average heights extending in from the Atlantic into the west of Europe. Um, temperature normally is a little bit on the cool side for southern parts of England and Wales, extreme inversion through frost and fog, quite cold across France, you'll notice. Uh, further north, though, it's much milder with above average temperatures across Scotland and Northern Ireland. And uh, precipitation-wise, actually looking very dry, as you expect, with high pressure dominating the weather. Right, week three will take us from the uh, 24th to the 31st of January. High pressure, again, is centred over and to the west of the country. And around that, we bring in the winds from a northwesterly direction the 500 millibar height anomaly again showing above average heights high pressure centered over and to the west of the uh, country the temperature anomaly um so a little bit of a uh, little bit uh, milder than average in the north still probably hinting at being a bit on the cold and average side in the south no real changes actually in that work uh, in that uh, particular week and uh, precipitation wise again it's pretty dry as high pressure is blocking off the atlantic so the rest of january dominated by high pressure. Week 3 will be the 31st of January to the 7th of February. The high pressure pulls a little bit further away from us. Maybe here to get a little bit more amplification uh, in the Atlantic. Might start to pull in uh, a little bit more of a northwesterly type flow, which could allow for a few cooler interludes, a few cooler snaps might be possible. The 500 millibar height only again pulling that area of above, uh, above average heights out into the Atlantic. With the below average heights in the north, we might set up a little bit of a northwest-southeast alignment to the jet stream. The temperature anomaly goes a little bit cooler. It's only hints at being cooler across most of northern and uh, western Europe. I doubt it would be overly cold because there's not true blocking to pull proper Arctic cold in. Um, but a bit of a cold snap might be possible there through the first week of February. Precipitation-wise, it's a bit wet and average to our north. Still rather than dry, but dry than average to the south. Week 4 will be the 7th to the 14th of February. Um, now we get the high pressure building to the south again, though. So any sort of hint that we might get some cooler weather in the first week of February is gone by this point. And now we bring the wind back in to uh, what could be a very mild and spring-like sort of west and southwesterly direction. The 500 millibar high time again, will have a low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south and in come those west or southwest winds the temperature anomaly uh going above average again uh for much of northern and western europe so that is a uh, milder week there through the second week of february and uh, still it goes on that it's a little bit drier than average to the south and a little bit wetter than average to the north week uh five going to be the 14th 21st of february no changes here whatsoever high pressure remains rooted and anchored to the south low pressure is to the north winds in from the southwest a total write-off of a February uh, in terms of colder weather, if uh, that's what everybody wants. Low pressure's up here, high pressure down there. Uh, you get the idea. Uh, I'm going to get through this as quick as I can because I'm absolutely bored to tears with it. Uh, I'm so sorry, buddy, but I really am. Uh, but uh, temperature anomalies, 
above average uh, in the north and the west. Uh, on and on it goes, and the precipitation anomaly actually goes a little bit wetter than average. That might be a slight change. So that's a bit wetter for the northwest of Scotland. And then week six, we were 21st, 28th of February. Um, here it is again. High pressure to the south, low pressure to the north. Winds in from the southwest. The uh, 500 millibar height only looks like that. Low pressure to the northwest, high pressure to the south southwest. Winds in from a southwesterly direction. Have you had enough yet, everyone? Have you had enough yet? Uh, precipitation, temperature anomalies above average. Uh, yes, you have guessed it. And uh, precipitation anomalies look like that. Drive an average to the south. And yes, wet an average up to the north. You stand anymore. I don't know if I can stand much more of this, to be honest, with this winter. So there we go. That's it. It's a write-off uh, for the next six weeks. It's going to be mild pretty much uh, continuously and uh, um, relatively dry, just really banal, uh, sort of very, very boring uh, weather. There is perhaps for the first week of February a little bit of amplification, but other than that... Forget it. Uh, right, okay. I'm going to stop it there. Bye for now.